Happy Facebook Live time. I am Melissa Kerman and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator uh, here in the U.S. and I've been a demonstrator for over 17 years and I come live every Thursday to share all the latest announcements and always fun projects with you and um, then I post these, this video to YouTube. So if you're watching live or on the replay, welcome. Thank you for being here. Hi, Tina. <laughs> yeah, I see people joining in. Say hello. Tell me where you're from. <laughs> um, I always love to be able to have a little dialogue or at least see, see who's here as much as I can talk to you guys. I will. Um, um, who did I just see? Deb, come, a lot. come on. Tina, Kathleen. Yay, welcome. Linda, so good to see you. So, um, hi, Debbie. <laughs> That's who, yes, it must have been you whose name I saw. Hi, Pam. Yay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I'm very excited today and I have to tell you why. I'm excited because finally, hi Christy, <laughs> after many hours of working on my latest technique class, it is finally done. <laughs> it always feels like such a mammoth accomplishment when I get it done because I kind of pour my heart and soul into these classes, hours and hours of work, and I start weeks ahead. And in the end, it always seems to take me longer than I think it will. But today, finally sent the, the, video, the um, email with the links to all the electronic materials. And uh, some, but not all, of the kits have been mailed. But I've um, contacted people to let them know generally what's going on and why their kit hasn't been mailed. And it's largely because you may have taken advantage of another offer that I have. And so I'm trying to combine the shipping as much as I can. I won't delay it too long if I um, can't ship it out soon. But just so you know, it's coming and the class is done. Yay! <laughs> so um, you can still purchase that class. The pre-order ended a while ago. Um, thank you, Christy. <laughs> yeah. um, you can still purchase that class. Uh, there are limited extra supply kits that I've prepared. Um, but the electronic materials are going to be available forever. So um, you can check that out on my website. So what's the other big news today? Well, today, June, or what is it? We're, June's past. Oh my gosh, we're July. Can't believe it. I would be in Maui right now, I think. I think the date's right. I'd be on, on a beach somewhere in Maui if things weren't as crazy as they have been. But that'll come next year. Um, and um, I just feel blessed, blessed for... Um, to be able to be here with you guys and uh, what Maui will happen next year. So it's all good. So what's happening this month is bonus days. So it started July 1st, goes through August 3rd, and for every $50 in merchandise you spend, you get a $5 coupon to be spent starting August 4th through the end of August. So that's the big promotion that's happening this month. Um, I placed my mini catalog pre-order earlier this week as a demonstrator I was able to pre-order on July 1st. I got a lot of those coupons. I'm just telling you. <laughs> Very exciting. And uh, I got some boxes in the mail today. I thought they were going to be my pre-order, but I, you know, I was just too anxious. It was some other boring stuff like plastic sleeves. <laughs> so anyway, um, <clears throat> but I think it's going to be here tomorrow. So next week I should have some really fun goodies to show you. So, um, the, speaking of the new mini catalog, it is now called the August to December mini catalog. Hi, Dean. Hi, Anne. <laughs> Probably missed some, some names out there, but just pop my eyes up to see you guys. Um, and in my boxes, I'm going to be getting catalogs. And if you would like a catalog, if you're not a regular customer who purchases on a regular basis and you're not sure if you're going to get a catalog mailed to you by me, you can contact me and let me know. Generally, my... Um, the guarantee is that if you've spent $50 in the last six months, you will definitely get a catalog mailed to you. That is a given. Um, if, you're, if it's less than that or you've, it's been longer than six months, you may not get one. So just let me know if you want one. Um, and this mini catalog is amazing for any of you guys who, out there who are demonstrators. I just, it's serious damage, <laughs> but good damage. So um, anyway, looking forward to sharing some of those things with you soon. Uh, so yeah, let's see what else. Um, that's it for my announcements. Isn't that lovely? Lovely quick announcements. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. 
So uh, I'm going to get on with my project demonstration and today I'm going to be sharing a project with you. It's actually a simple project. I'm also, you know, proud of myself that I kept it simple because I've been so crazy busy that when I when I do multiple projects and they make it complicated, it takes me a really long time to get the materials ready for this. So um, anyway, it's simple but it's beautiful and I'm going to call it actually a little magical. I think it's just, it's got the magic of designer paper combined with some stamping and and it's, I think it's just beautiful, but it's super simple, and I just love that. So, very excited to share that with you. So, this I'm going to be sharing most of the things that I'm using are from the um, Artistry Blooms product suite. So, it's this amazing, gorgeous designer paper. So, there's the, um, the glimmer paper, the rainbow glimmer paper there on the front. And then, um, these are my favorite of the papers dropping things on the floor. <laughs> um, these wonderful uh, gradations of color. I just have to show them to you because they're just so pretty. I've, as you can tell, I used one of these. And um, the, these, this side, these sides are my favorites. Just love them. I need to find something else to do with it um, beyond today. So anyway, just so pretty. So pretty. I know I've showed you this before, but I couldn't help I can't resist showing you again, since that's what I'm using today. Um, what else? That's the back side. Another back side. That one's a little crazy, but it could be kind of fun to play with too. There's that one. And then last but not least, this one. So anyway, this is just beautiful paper. And the stamp set and dies um, are also really pretty. I love the, this image in the Hand Drawn Bloom set. That one right there, that's gonna be I'm, what I'm gonna be using in today's project. And then another item that's in this product suite are these lovely, um, uh, what are they called, sequins that have adhesive on the back side. This is one of, this is actually a half a pack. I've divided it in two to, for the product shares that I am furiously working on as we speak. Um, well, maybe not quite as we speak. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but anyway, so I have that package that I thought I would show you. And then these are the Banner Blooms dies really not played with these yet but um, coming soon okay throwing things around all righty um, so I'm gonna face the camera down and we'll go ahead and I'll show you the goodies all right hi Brenda hi Claudia <laughs> Can I wave at you? It says wave. Oh, that means I can wave. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> that's a new thing I just learned about Facebook. You can wave at somebody. All right, so the other products we're using, in addition to the hand-drawn blooms, I'm using a sentiment from this Borders Abound. I have a feeling this is something in the catalog that could easily get missed, but I just love these delicate elements, and they have one for every season, so the winter and then the fall. And then I guess these are, you know, spring and summer-ish or more neutral. And then I love the font, just really simple. So we're going to be using that sentiment on our card. And then I'm also using a dye from this Tasteful Labels dies. I'm using this one. This is my favorite dye in this set. I just think it's really elegant and simple. And it's got just the littlest bit of detail on the edges. So that's a little tour of what we're using. All new products in the annual catalog. All right, so we're going to get started with a piece of this lovely, gorgeous paper that I just showed you, the Artistry Blooms Designer Series paper. And I'm using this image, my favorite one. And I'm going to use my Jet Black Stays On. Now I could use, um, I could use uh, my Memento Black as well. But I especially like how the stays on is really dark and rich. Um, I think it's just a little bit, it's less gray than you might find with a Memento, although Memento is not gray, but it's just, this is just deeper and I just love it. Now you do need a special cleaner for the, um, the stays on, so just so you know. Hi Kay, welcome. It's okay that you're late. <laughs> you came at just the best time, in fact. So now I'm demonstrating. Okay, so I'm going to stamp this image directly onto my designer paper. And this is where the magic is because this combining this gorgeous designer paper with some stamping over the top 
is just a lovely option. Just doing a tiny little bit down in the corner. And when I have a big stamp like this, a lot of times I like to ink it up with the stamp facing up instead of the other way around, just because the stays on ink pad is a smaller surface than a regular ink pad. And then I'm going to stamp another one of these images up in this upper left hand corner. Kind of want the two images to nest with one another right down on the left. But this is a very delicate image, so it needs to be well inked for it to show up well, especially on this somewhat dark paper. But isn't that just pretty? So pretty, just simple, and I love it. <laughs> Let's see. Something that was about to fall on me. <laughs> okay, so I've got my stamping of my background piece. And now I've taken that thank you sentiment that I showed you earlier, stamped it onto a piece of white, die cut it, and, and here if you look closely, you can see that delicate little tiny edge there. It's not a it's not a stitch or anything. It's just, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a seam or something. And then I've taken my eighth inch handheld circle punch and just punched holes in the ends. Now I'm using some of, I don't even, I can't remember what this is called. This is the Playing With Patterns Designer Series Paper um, Sweet um, Ribbon Combo Pack. I'm just gonna show you. Since I actually still have the shares in hand, I can show you this product medley all in one, in one place, if you will. So this is the Playing With Patterns share. Somebody's gonna be getting this. Um, and these are the ribbons that come together. So this is the one I'm using. It's got a really sort of pale pink uh, look to it, so it really goes with any purples and pinks that you can that you might want to use. So um, that's you get a, a mix of the, all three of those ribbons um, in that variety pack. So now I'm just going to sort of bunch that up at the end, and I'm going to tuck it into that little itty bitty hole. and weave it through the other side. Hi, Allison. Hi, Carol. <laughs> um, so I see that you've shared, Carol, and that is awesome. And while I am thinking of it, um, I just wanna say that if you are so inclined and would, would like to share, um, by when you go to my, my website or other places, share on Facebook and share on Twitter and share on Instagram or wherever, that that is also so appreciated. Um, just um, anything to kind of get the word about, out about what I do uh, is, is really appreciated. So thank you for sharing here and I invite you to share elsewhere as well. Okay, so now I'm going to just put some adhesive on the back side of this piece of designer paper. Now I actually, I should say, that I sort of semi-cased this design from a fellow demonstrator, and I wanna say, I think her name is Marianne Heil, I wanna say, it sounds familiar. She did a demonstration at our on-stage um, online event, and her featured product was this whole gorgeous um, Artistry Bloom suite. Um, and she stamped on another pattern of this designer paper, and I just thought it looked so pretty that I had to try it myself. Oh, and I just remembered one thing that I forgot. Okay, let's see if I can do that with the ribbon in here. Okay, so I'm gonna live dangerously. <laughs> Bringing back my stays on. I'm gonna ink up the edge of my stamp. and I'm gonna stamp on the top of my sentiment piece. Ever so carefully so I don't get it on the ribbon. Hard to see. <laughs> kind of at a strange angle here. Okay, one, and then I'm gonna do a second one at the bottom. There's also a little bit of magic here, so 
wait and see. Trying to tuck around that little Y of the U. All right, so let's work on this for a little bit. So I have done a couple of versions of this and one of them is just I left the sentiment plain without any stamping and then I played around with doing a little bit of coloring. You're like, I've got four colors there and I've got these tiny little images. <laughs> let's see if you're in the screen. Yes, you guys can see it, I think. So I'm sitting down so I can see what I'm doing. And now I'm going to work a little bit with some of my colors. So I start with my Seaside Spray. I think this is my latest favorite blue. I've got my Wink of Stella brush. And I'm just going to pull up the tiniest little bit of color from the pad itself. I don't know if you can see it on there. But it is, it's there. And then I'm going to color one of my flowers. One of the things I love about this Wink of Stella brush is that it's got this really tiny little tip. So it allows you to control where you're putting your ink. So I'm just going to do a little bit of each of these colors. Now I've got my Gorgeous Grape. Now their Gorgeous Grape is one of the colors that's supposed to be included in this variety pack of designer paper. So I think it's one of the colors that's in the piece that I used. So I don't know if you can see because it's so tiny. I'll bring it up to the camera in just a bit, but the, um, the Wink of Stella, of course, is this little shimmery shine. And I'm, so I'm getting colored shimmery shine in my images. And I wanted to have some blue in there, but I don't know that I, I'm sorry, some, let's see if I can get some of this in there too. Such a small amount of stamping. Now this is the um, Rich Razzleberry. You might notice I'm cleaning off my, the tip of my Wink of Stella in between colors. And it's not really gonna show much, but just, uh, hmm. okay, I'll stop there. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of my green. Now there's no, gonna be no other green anywhere on this, so hopefully I'm gonna like it. But I love this color. This is the Granny Apple Green. I'm gonna take this really simple card and just add a little fun added touch. Okay. Bring it close to the camera so you guys can see a little better. All right, against the light. This is pretty, just some little little added uh, element to go with my card. All right, now I'm gonna do that so I get the rest of the color off there so next time I go use my Wink of Stella, don't uh, have a strange surprise. All right, so now I'm gonna take some mini dimensionals and put them on the back of my sentiment. I'm gonna do it so that it's not on top of the ribbon because I wanna be able to adjust the position of the ribbon, ribbon, have it move around. And then I'm gonna go ahead and find where I want to place the sentiment. Now, if I pull my ribbon tight, I can sort of keep it off of those um, dimensionals. I don't want it to stick to the dimensionals. Go. I'm just going to wrap this around and do a little knot. So 
Let's not make that too tight there. I want to be able to fan that ribbon out so you really see it all. There we go. Then I'm just tying a knot. So I don't know exactly what this color is technically. I'll have to look it up, of the ribbon that is. If anybody knows, comment here. If you want to look, I'm sure it's in the catalog. The only light pink I can think of is petal pink, but petal pink is a little bit more peachy than this one looks to me, so I think it has to be something else. And then I'm just trimming off the ends. I like my ribbon ends to be kind of on the small side. I might even trim those a little bit more. It's always easier to trim it once than going back and doing it. But Okay. There's my piece, and now I'm just going to attach it to my card body. Now I've got three different versions of this, including this one that I've just finished. Can't wait to show you them. It's kind of, there's one that's the simplest, one that's got a little bit more, and then this is a slight variation of that one. So my card base is Rich Razzleberry. Now there is one other step that you could do on this that I've done on my other ones. And that is just to color some of the elements on the card. And then it makes it a little shiny, you know. Spice it up a little bit. Now I did this on my other card, so I'll show you that and maybe finish that part of it off camera. Um, now, last but not least, I've grabbed some of my Elegant Faceted Gems and my Take Your Pick tool. And I'm going to put a couple of these elements in the lower right-hand corner. I love these ones especially. They're like shiny, shimmery, like little glibber, gl glimmer or glitter. <laughs> They get a little glitter to them. So there's that. So there we go. Now just, I'm just going to add my Wink of Stella off camera. I'll take pictures of these and have it on my website. So I'll show you the other versions that I've done. So my simplest one. Hi, Sharon. <laughs> See you there. This is my simplest one. This is actually just done on regular cardstock. And I just love this. I think it's just lovely, so simple. I do have my Wink of Stella on a bunch of the different flowers. You can see that in the light. Done it the same way. I've used some of the pool party ribbon here. That is part of the um, Whale of a Time Suite. So it's this sheer ribbon. Just wrap that around. And then on this one, I have some of the clear embellishments so in here, these ones on this side are all clear, and these ones are the white with the glitter in them. But they're all faceted, so just really pretty little elements. Of course, that one. And then the last card, which may be my favorite, is done on the magenta. This is the Magenta Madness, one of the new in colors. And I've done couple of the all the same elements pretty much but just kept that the same color um, coloring uh, with the magenta on the flowers so there's my little ensemble of cards what do you guys think I always like to know what your favorites are so please comment and let me know what you think and I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around oh yay hearts thank you somebody <laughs> let's see no, I did it. I, I'm trying to do this so you're not like on top of my face when I turn you. I have to turn and then turn me around. <laughs> Learning. Always oh, have to learn. <laughs> Alrighty. 
So comment, let me know. Now this one is the, um, it's on a Bermuda Bay with Coastal Cabana is the front. And this one, of course, is the Magenta Madness. I love the gradations of color here and the white. And I love how the white sentiment works with the fact that there's white on there. That's I especially love. And then, of course, this is another twist. And I love those purples and blues. That just, I just, ah, <laughs> adore it. And then I love the combination with greens. So um, the white stands out a lot, which I wasn't quite, didn't anticipate. Um, but I still like it. So this one is on a rich Razzleberry card base. So you, you know, comment. Oh, yeah, I see people are commenting. Wonderful. Love to hear from you. So um, those projects will be on my blog tomorrow in a web, in a, in a blog post with di uh, dimensions um, and supplies and all that good stuff. And uh, some close-ups so you can see the Wink of Stella. I'll finish up doing the Wink of Stella on the one that I demonstrated on this purplish one. It looks so pretty on the camera, actually. <laughs> um, and I will be back next week, next Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, same, tam same time, same channel. That will be July 9th. It's actually one of my daughter's birthdays. <laughs> she doesn't live with us, so, it, you know, it's okay. <laughs> you won't be taking me away from cake, although I wish you were. Because um, <laughs> I love cake. So um, anyway, but we are going to visit my daughter for her birthday, actually, in a couple of weeks. So I'll be bringing cake with me then. We'll share. We'll celebrate then. So yes, I'll be back next week. Um, what else? Just reminders, don't forget about bonus days. If you place an order for $50 or more, you will get an email with a coupon code. Don't lose that email. Make sure to you know, put it in a safe place. And sometimes I even tell people, you can mail it to me, email it to me, <laughs> and I will hold on to it for you, especially if you're somebody I'd be ordering for. Um, if you're ordering online, you will need it to put in to, you know, as a coupon code, but I can always you know, give it back to you when you're ready. But um, anyway, so you'll have to keep that if you earn one of those. What else do I need to remind you of? Um, uh, yeah, let me know if you want uh, or need one of the new mini catalogs that's coming out. Mine should be in the mail tomorrow or Monday. I mean, I should be receiving them. And then I'll put some labels on them and stuff them with some other stuff. Now, I do have new product shares that are going to be coming out with that catalog. And I'm getting the materials and information ready for that. Can you believe it? <laughs> just haven't even finished with this round of product shares um, and I'm starting a new one but uh, it's an amazing catalog so you will want to do those um, at least check out the product shares that I'll be doing for the August to December mini catalog um, and more information will be coming for, uh, on that soon um, so I will include a flyer about that in with the mini catalogs that I mail to um, to my customers so um, let me know at any time if you have questions I'm here to help and I hope you enjoyed tonight and will come join me again next, um, next Thursday, same time, same channel. Um, and I, I can't wait to see all your comments. I see Kathleen, you like the rich Razzleberry. <laughs> Yay. Um, so thanks so much for being here and we'll see you next week. Bye everybody. Thank you. <laughs>